Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's beginners tutorial we're going to be looking at layers. Now this is something that I should have covered a, a while ago but I'm just going back to it now and it's a very simple concept uh, in Photoshop um, but it can be one that's quite hard to get the hang of at first. So what are layers? Well the best way to explain that is through an example. Um, I have here just a quick uh, drawing I did with a few coloured boxes in various locations. Now, what uh, you should know about this is that all of the boxes are on one layer. And just so you know, if you want to see the uh, if you want to see the layers panel, you click Window, Workspace, and then you want to click on Essentials Default. And that will give you the uh, layers panel. Uh, it might actually be down here, in which case you just double click on it and it will pop up here. So now that you have the layers panel open, you'll notice that we have one layer and all of the drawings are on one layer. It's probably best to compare this to a painting. If you have a painting and you suddenly draw something that you don't want on the painting, you can't get rid of it without having to paint over it. Similarly, if I decide that I no longer want this green square and I want to replace it with a pink square, the only thing to do would be to paint a pink square over it. However, this is where layers come in handy. Layers are an, uh, a unique and um, really interesting way of splitting up your designs. Um, so layers can actually uh, split various elements of your design up so that you can isolate them and change them individually. For example, if I was to create a new layer, which I can do by clicking just on this button here, or I can go to layer, new, layer, then I can create designs separately. So for now I'm just going to replace this with uh, white and I'm going to start again with, uh, with layers and change things as I go. So I'm going to click layer, new, layer and I'll call this layer black rectangle and um, for now we're not going to worry about the clipping mask at all but the colour doesn't affect the, the actual colour of what's inside the layer. Um, what it does is it actually creates a colour over here so that it's very easy to group your layers. So for example I'll click orange for now and the mode, you can change the mode here but you can also change the mode here. But for now I'm just going to keep it to normal and we'll go through modes at a later stage in these tutorials. So I'll click OK and as you can see uh, it's orange to easily highlight it and I've called it black rectangle so naturally I will fill it with a black rectangle so I'll fill it as such. Now the next thing I'm going to do is um, create another layer and I'll call this one this time I just I, I clicked here to create the layer and if you want to rename the layer you just have to click twice on the uh, on the on the text where it says layer 2 and I'll call this one green rectangle. And then I'll go back to my shape tool, click on the black, change it to a green and make sure I click on the green rectangle layer because whichever layer you've clicked on here in the layers panel is the layer you will be drawing, painting, creating on. So for example even if I click the black rectangle layer and I drew it on it would go onto the black rectangle layer. So I'll press Control or Command Z to undo that and I'll go into the green rectangle layer and create my green rectangle. Now you'll notice that I have all of these elements on separate layers. In fact, I'll just rename this one background. So now that I have all of these elements on different layers, I can easily select, deselect, and show what I want to show. For example, if I decide I no longer want the background, I can just click here on this eye to change the visibility of the layer to invisible, and therefore it's no longer showing. Some other useful uh, things you can do quite simply with layers are to, um, to get rid of layers or to trash layers. You can press the backspace button and I'll press Control or Command Z to undo that or you can drag it and drop it in this bin here. If you want to copy a layer you can simply drag it and drop it onto this new layer and it creates a copy of the layer which is another very useful tool. One final thing I'm going to show you in the first part of our layers tutorial 
is, um, is folders or files in which you can put layers. This is a really useful tool if you have a very complicated design with lots of things going on in the design and it's a way of organizing information hierarchically. So I'm going to click here on the new folder icon or I can go to layer new group. So I'll create a group of layers and this one I'll call rectangles. Now for groups or, or, or folders you normally want the mode to be passed through and I will click OK and you'll notice this creates um, a folder called rectangles and what we have here is a little triangle and when we click it the triangle rotates and you'll see what that does in a minute. So for now I'm going to click on my green rectangle tool hold control or command and click on my black rectangle tool to select them both click and drag until I see the entire rectangles folder box highlighted and drop them inside and now you'll notice they've indented and this means that they're inside the group they're on the right of this arrow if I click the arrow here it basically closes the group so by opening the arrow the group is open and I can see the layers inside and by closing the group the layers, uh, they don't go away, they're still inside, but they're just hidden within this folder. Now this is obviously a very useful tool if you're creating, for example, a web page and you have various different groups for your header, your footer, your content, or if you're creating a digital painting and you want to group things into, for example, the face, the eyes, the hair. Again, a very useful tool to use with layers. So um, in, inside your group, you can turn on or off individual, <coughs> individual excuse me, layers, or you can turn off and on the entire group. If you um, don't show the layers, you can just turn off the entire group. But if you do show the layers, you'll see that the eye becomes semi-transparent, showing that um, the, the layers are on, but because of the hierarchical group, the group which controls the layer, um, being off, these are by default off, and by clicking on any, th any one of these three you will make all of them visible again. I hope that's been a, a useful first quick look at layers. In further layer tutorials we'll go deeper into the layer system and things you can do with it.